flesh and blood man. That's what people don't understand is, is that God, the one that created everything that was created, had to become man. This is dealing with the Godhead. You might not understand it. I don't want to confuse you in case you don't understand it. But the Godhead consisted of two. You had one that became known as the Father, and you had another one that became known as Jesus the Son. Now, Jesus came in the flesh, born of a woman, born under the law. Go ahead, read on. Verse 5. Go ahead. To redeem them that were under the law, that we might receive the adoption of sons. See what it said? To redeem them that were under the law, that we might receive the adoption of sons. You can't be, you know, God don't cohabitate, you understand, with, with, with nobody to forget sons. So how do they become sons? They become adopted sons. Right. You're going to get into the family, you got to be adopted into the family. Sure. <laughs> made of a woman, made under the law, to redeem them that under the law for the adoption. Go ahead, read on. And because ye are sons, uh -huh. God has sent forth the spirit of his son into your hearts, crying, Abba, Father. Wherefore thou art no more a servant, but a son. Uh -huh. And if a son, then an heir of God through Christ. Now he said, and then if you're a son, then you're an heir of God through Christ. And we're going to show you, you are really a joint heir. You're a joint heir with Christ. Let's go to, uh, let's go now to uh, 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 Hebrews chapter 2. And we'll begin reading at verse 9. Hebrews 2, and we're going to pick it up. At verse 9, Hebrews 2 and 9. 2 and 9. Say, so you become heir. You know what heir means? That means you're going to inherit something. And you know what you're going to inherit? You're going to inherit all things. Because the book says Jesus inherited all things. And if you're going to become an heir, even the book talks about becoming a joint heir. That sure. means whatever he inherit, you're going to inherit it as well. Amen. And he inherited all things. Yes, sir. You know, some of this stuff is beyond man's comprehension. But nevertheless, it is what it is. Because the Bible talks about us becoming just like him. We're going to read that before we get out of here. Hebrews chapter 2. And we're going to start reading at verse 9. He, you know, it's hard to even fathom how that can be. Sure. I hear you are. Anything almost will take you out. Mosquito take you out. Bite you the wrong place, he got some kind of disease, you gone. Sir. Now you're going to become just like the very creator. You understand what I'm saying? That is beyond comprehend. The, the human mind can't even comprehend that. Like the human mind cannot comprehend eternal life. Sir. You know, man live nowadays, get 100 years old, you say, he old. No, he ain't. He ain't old. Not compared to eternity, he ain't old. Yes, he ain't sir. got started yet. Yes, sir. <laughs> Can't even call him a baby yet. Let's start reading here at uh, Hebrews chapter 2. And we'll, be, uh, and we'll begin reading at verse 9. Hebrews chapter 2. And we'll pick it up at verse 9. That's why the book talk about if God do not reveal this to you by his spirit. And what is that spirit? The word of God. Sure. If he don't reveal this to you by, by his spirit, you just cannot begin to comprehend this thing. How big this really is. No man ever imagined, if you have not read it in the Bible, no man could even imagine becoming very God. But that is what my God is doing. He is recreating himself. Yes, sir. Praise God. Yes, You're sir. You're going to become very God with power. I'm talking about. I ain't not talking about some. Some of these brothers run around here talking foolish about they God. You ain't God, nothing, man. All I got to do is stick something in you, you'll bleed to death. That's right, brother. Yes, sir. That's right. God is eternal. You understand what I'm saying? Can't nothing take him out. Let's start reading here at Hebrews chapter 2. And, and, uh, and we're going to start reading at verse 9. Hebrews 2. And we're going to pick it up at verse 9. Go ahead and read. But we see Jesus, who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death. You see, as I said earlier, Jesus, he is different from us in a sense that he started out as God. You understand what I'm saying? But because 
Somebody had to die for the sins of man, and angels of spirit being, they don't die. I'll tell you that right there. That's why he had to be made lower than angels for the suffering of death. And if you're going to become like the angels, that means you ain't going to die either. You ain't there yet. But we working on it. So now, he said, we see Jesus that was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death. Go ahead and read on. Crowned with glory and honor. Uh-huh. That he, by the grace of God, should taste death for every man. Now, that is what he did. He came and he tasted death for every man. He came and died for everybody. There's something you got to do in order for his blood to cover you, but nevertheless, he died for everybody because it was either you died for you or he died for you. You had an option. You might not believe that. It don't matter. If you don't believe it today, I guarantee you one day you will believe that. <laughs> when you face the judgment, you go, it's going to either be he died for me I got to die for me. Yes, sir. Somebody got to die for you. You know why? Because all men are sinners, and the wages of sin is death, yes, and the wages must be paid. Yes, sir. Now, somebody got to pay them. You want to pay your own? Go right ahead. I'm trying to fix it so I don't have to pay my own. I'm yes, working sir. at it. Yes, sir. Go ahead and read. Verse 10. Go ahead and read. For it became him for whom are all things, and by whom all are all things, and bringing many sons into glory. Wait a minute, now he's talking about bringing some sons into glory here. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, he, 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 it, it became him by who are all things, for whom are all things, and bringing many sons into glory. Who are the sons? The ones that are striving to walk in righteousness. And, and, and his intent is to bring them too into glory. Go ahead and read on. To make the captain of their salvation perfect through suffering. See what it said to make the, who is the captain? He is the captain. He yes, came sir. to lead the way. Yes, sir. Everything, you know, the way that, the thing that he had to go through, those are the same thing that you're going to have to go through if you're going to really become a son of God. To make the captain of their salvation perfect through suffering. Go ahead and read on. For both he that sanctifieth and they who are sanctified are all of one. Uh -huh. For which cause he is not ashamed to call them brethren. Wait a minute. If he's the son of God and you're going to become his brother, then what will you be? You son will be God. the son of God too, right? I'm the son of James David. He got other... Uh, men, children as well. Well, who are they? They are the son of James David. Sure. If Jesus is the son of God and you're going to be his brother, then you too are the son of God. Amen. Go ahead and read on. Verse 12. Go ahead and read. Saying, I will declare thy name unto my brethren. Uh -huh. In the midst of the church will I sing praise unto thee. You know, he calling you brother because actually he first became your brother. In other words, he became flesh and blood. What you are. Now, he is going to fix it so you can become what he is. He is spirit now. He is a spirit being. He ain't flesh and blood being no more. When he walked around on this earth, he, he was a flesh and blood being. Then he died and rose again, and he was no longer a flesh and blood being. Then he became a spirit being. Go ahead and read on. And again, I will put my trust in him. Uh -huh. And again... Behold, I and the children which God has given me. Go ahead. So for as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood. Wait a minute. He says, much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood. That is what we are, flesh and blood. Go ahead and read. He also himself likewise took part of the same. Uh -huh. That through death he might destroy him that had the power of death, that is, the devil. In other words, he had to become flesh and blood for the purpose of death. Now it talks about the children here. The sons that he, you know, that the other sons bringing them into glory as well. Let's go now to, uh, let's go now to uh, 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 Matthew chapter 3. Matthew 3. And we'll begin reading at verse 13. Show you what Jesus did as son of man. Matthew chapter 3. And we'll begin reading at verse 13. Because he is the captain. He leads the way. 